Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hannah. I make a ton of cleaning motivation here on my channel. Today I have a huge two-day downstairs deep cleaning. I am going to get started in my kitchen giving everything a very deep cleaning today. I'm not doing an intense deep cleaning inside my appliances today. That will be coming soon. I'm just doing a lot of surface cleaning. I'm gonna wipe down on top of my cabinets, on top of my fridge, the surfaces of all the cabinets, and of course the counters. And of course, I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down as I clean. So I'm gonna start on top of my cabinets, clearing the rest of the things off of here and just spraying them down and wiping them off. There's a lot of dust and stuff that has built up over here over the Christmas season with all of the decor up here. So I need to get all of this taken care of today. Since is caught up with my confidence But my wicked heart still battles mine It may not look very dusty from a distance But if I was to take the camera and show up close of the layer of dust on top of these cabinets You could see that there was in fact a layer of dust here It wasn't a ton of dust, but I like to take care of it before it turns into a ton of dust And now I'm just gonna wipe down the fronts of all of my cabinets up here So that way they're nice and clean and as well as the top of the fridge, the top of the microwave, all of that stuff. Now I'm gonna head across to the other side of the kitchen and do the same thing over here. Thankfully, I just have a couple cabinets on the top over here, so I just have to wipe the tops of these off and then the fronts of them. Next, I'm gonna move down to my countertops and I have a lot of stuff piled up here. I'm just gonna work on clearing this stuff out and I really need to come up with a better plan of how to organize things on my countertops. We did just get a nice knife block set for Christmas. It has a wooden base with white knives and I just love it. It's so, so pretty. So I definitely wanna keep that on my countertop. I'm thinking about doing something different with my spices to organize those a little better. Right now on the spice rack they're on, the top rack of the spices is really easy to access, but the bottom two racks, not so much. You kind of have to wiggle the spices in and out of there, and it's kind of a pain. Now that this portion of my countertops is cleared off, I'm going to spray down the backsplash and the counters and wipe everything down, as well as the top of the stove. Baby, if it's real, would you tell me?
If you come back to me under the moon, I'll wait till you meet me one day. Now heading across my kitchen to the other side, I need to do the same thing over here. Put everything on the countertops away and then spray that on the backsplash in the counters and wipe it all down. Put your trust in me, yeah. Now I'm gonna head back over to this side of the kitchen, wipe down the side of the fridge before I get started on the lower cabinets. While I'm over here, I'm gonna finish off the fronts of my appliances with my stainless steel wipes. I haven't been a huge fan of these wipes just because the first half of the bottle, they seem to have way too much product on them. And now that I'm at the end with the last couple wipes, there is like almost no product on these and it's kind of upsetting, but I'm just not gonna buy these wipes again. Maybe I'll buy like an actual spray that I can wipe with a microfiber towel. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get next. If you guys have any stainless steel cleaning recommendations, let me know down in the comments. We had a good time from what I remember. Like Bonnie and Clyde, when we are together. But we were at your best friend's backyard party when your phone fell. Can be yours tonight. I can. 
Now that the kitchen is nice and clean, I'm gonna start putting my decor items and just my countertop items back into place. I love the wood tones in the kitchen and the white accents. I just think it's so beautiful. I love the knife block set that we have. I'd really like to get a new utensil holder. I saw one on Amazon that I really, really loved. It's like a cream white color and it comes with a set of wooden utensils. And I'm thinking about getting that one, but I'm not quite sure yet. I know I just put these teal turquoise blue colored canisters out on my countertop, but I am just not loving the color of them in the kitchen. I just, it's so bright and distracting. Every time I look in my kitchen, those are the only things I see. So I'm thinking about repurposing them in another area of my house, maybe a bathroom or something. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just going to put my sugar back into my little clear sugar jar, which just looks a lot nicer on the countertops in my opinion. Oh, this could be your Over here in this corner, I used to have my paper towels, but now I'm gonna put this cute little diffuser that my sweet friend Faith sent me. She is just an absolute sweetheart. If you guys haven't seen her channel before, her channel's name is Faith's Life. I'll leave it in the, linked in the description for you guys. She is such a sweetheart. Now that my kitchen is nice and clean, nice and tidy, I'm going to head out into my dining area and tackle this space next. I need to clear off the table and I need to scrub it down. There is so much stuff in the grooves on this table, I really need to get to work cleaning it out. We'll end up in a bar tonight where drinks turn off the filter right. Put in place to hide things we both know. It's obvious there'll come a time I'll board a plane and leave behind the closest thing to home away from home. My mind won't forget nights like these ones. I'm falling, I'm falling before I go again. I've tried to pretend time is on our side. Falling. Falling before I go again Falling After I get the table cleared off, I'm gonna work on pulling all of the chair covers off of my chairs so I can throw these in the washing machine. I love having chair covers that are removable because I can just pull them off and throw them in the washer and get them nice and clean again. I grabbed my couch blankets and I'm gonna throw those into the washing machine with my chair covers so that way I can knock out two things at once and get them both clean at the same time. Time is on our side Falling, I'm falling before I go again Now to scrub my table, I'm just giving it a light coat of my Lysol spray and I have my scrubby scrub brush thing and I have a little bit of dish soap on this and I'm just gonna scrub the two of them together over the entire table before I get to work cleaning out the grooves in the middle of the table. Falling before I go again I've tried to 
pretend time is on our side. Falling, I'm falling before I go again. No matter how our lives will be, I'll tell you, I won't tell you to leave. Yeah, I'll keep on standing here. I'm hopeful, so hopeful, dear. Yeah, it's true. I usually use toothpicks to do this, but I'm out of toothpicks and I have these long bamboo skewers. So I'm just gonna use these and run them through the grooves in the middle of the table just to pull out all the gunk that's stuck in there. ourselves not by ourselves it's been 10 years and still not there we'll end the days we've won the race we'll have our kids that we will raise and y'all will be here with me with a man After the table is cleaned up, I'm going to spray down the back door and wipe this off and get the glass nice and clean here with the kids and the dog. This is the door I usually take the dog out to take him for walks. So anytime he has to go potty, he just comes over here and like presses his face against the door. So there's always little nose prints on the bottom and hand prints all over it as well from the kids. I try, try to make things right. I hold you and wipe your teeth. After my chair covers have finished in the laundry, I'm just going to put them back onto the chairs and finish up this area here. Heading into the living room, I have a couple things that I need to get started in here today, but that's all I'm gonna do today because I've tackled so much already, but I wanna pull all of the couch covers off of the couch and get those going in the washing machine. What you talking about? There ain't nothing like the real thing. Oh, I said, Since these covers have to air dry, it takes them quite a while to get dry. So I like to wash them and let them air dry overnight. So that way the next day I can just get them back onto the couch. Talking 
After I pulled the couch cushions off of my couch, I saw how much dog hair was underneath them, so I really wanted to give it a quick vacuum before I put the naked couch cushions on all of this dog hair. Just to freshen everything up, I have some of this fabric refresher pet odor eliminator spray. I'm just gonna spray over the entire base of the couch. And after I put the couch cushions on, I'm also gonna give those a light layer too, just to get them smelling fresh. And I'm feeling something, cause late last night you were feeling nothing. How could you be over me in a week when I'm still feeling so lonely? Found my sweater that you took all the time Still smells like you like when you were mine How could it be that I see memories in between all these worn ass scenes? Cause you're seeing someone else And I heard he treats you well But it still hurts like hell Darling, tell me do you think now to protect the cushions from the dog and the kids overnight, I'm just gonna put a sheet over all of the cushions that I can. This king size sheet fit over some of them, but not all of them. The little section that sits out by itself, it did not cover that one. So I did have to go grab a twin size sheet and that one fit over that section, perfect. This is as far as I'm gonna go today. And now the next day, I'm gonna get started with cleaning off the ceiling fan first. Since my couch is already covered in some sheets, I thought it was perfect to take care of this. And if any dust did fall out of the pillowcase onto the couch, I'm taking the sheets off anyways. This is my favorite way to clean off ceiling fans. I just grab a pillowcase, open it up, slide it over, and collect all of the dust inside the pillowcase. Then when you're done, you can just turn it inside out, shake it out, and throw it in the washing machine just like that. Before I get started putting the couch covers back onto the couch, I really wanted to sweep and mop my floors. So I'm gonna get started in the kitchen, sweeping up all of the floors in here, heading out into the dining area, and then through the living room, sweeping everything. On a day-to-day -day basis for all of my daily regular cleaning, I usually use my vacuum to vacuum up anything on the floors. But before I mop the floors, I really like to use my broom and sweep the floors. I feel like I just get a much deeper clean. I can get much closer to the cabinets and just in little small places that my vacuum can't reach. Do I 
As I come into the living room, sweeping around in here, I like to pick up the edges of my rug just to get any dirt and dust that may have gone under here taken care of. I know there are a ton of little toys under this TV stand, so I'm gonna pull this out, pick up all of the toys, and then sweep up all of the dog and cat hair that got blown up under here. I'm also going to use my big vacuum to do a nice deep cleaning vacuum on my rug down here. I am very interested in getting some sort of carpet cleaner to clean my rugs and my upstairs carpet when I need to. Right now I have a handheld carpet cleaner for small stains and such, but if I were to use that to clean the rug downstairs, it would take me probably two days to do the entire thing.
Now that everything is nice and clean on the floor, I'm gonna open up this window and spray off the windows and clean these. Since I cleaned the glass door, I really wanted to clean this window too. And then after I'm done with the window, I really wanted to wipe off the front of our fireplace. The boys love this thing. The front of it doesn't get hot at all, so they always touch it and there's just handprints all over it, so I really wanted to get those taken care of. Now that everything else is taken care of, I'm gonna grab my mop bucket, grab my mop and mop the floors. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, I just love mopping. It might be one of my favorite cleaning tasks to do. I just love mopping, I don't know why. you supernatural I get goosebumps every time you call Got me running through my fantasies 40 west I'm doing 93 Tell me where the sparks come from Don't know that we both bring some Doing something that I can't explain Lately no I'm not the same You're just like magic Not so what it is but With a blind of faith When we disappear and levitate Now I know where the sparks come from One touch, I was so far gone Still something that I can't explain Lately, no, I'm not the same You're just like magic Not sure what it is, but baby, you have it Life's better ever since you have been Now the last thing for me to do today is to put all of my couch covers back onto the couch. I saved this for last because this is just so time consuming for me to do. I sped this up as much as I could, but it probably took me about 15, 20 minutes just to get all of these couch covers back onto the couch. And it's just such a chore to do. So that's why I saved it for last. I'm just trying to figure out what happened All I ever really wanted was a couple of drinks I didn't show up here looking for a fight it's been three weeks since you called me I'm too hung up and I can't sleep But would you hear me out tonight? Cause I need nothing more than you 
No, I need nothing more than you to come back home. To come back home. To come back home. Won't you come back home? And I should have seen it coming, should have put up a fight. Playing without you, it don't feel right And 22's no place to be When all your friends are drunk and we Can't grow up, so I messed up And it's gotten me feeling that I need nothing more Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this deep cleaning. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you like this video, let me know down below and leave it a thumbs up. Let's come back home